This is One on One. There she is, the beautiful, talented, <laughs> smiling Mary Lou Bicknell, who is a basic skills teacher at the Thomas E. Boa Elementary School in Glassboro, New Jersey. How are you doing? I am doing great. I heard something that could not be true. I just saw it here. You've been teaching for? 34 years. Stop it. <laughs> truth. Not true. Yes, truth. I don't lie. You still love it. I love it. Passion. Yes. Haven't lost it. Nope. Amazing. I have this program. I'm not, I don't want to give it up. This program we're talking about is the Real Men Read program. Yes, it is. Uh, part of uh, our terrific initiative with the uh, New Jersey Education Association, um, the classroom close-up series that uh, you see on NJTV all the time with our partners. You're about to see a piece of video about the Real Men Read program. I'm not even going to describe it. We'll see the video. Mm -hmm. And Mary Lou will talk about it after that, right? Yes, I will. Let's take a look at Real Men Read from classroom close-up, and then a very young teacher will come and talk about it. <laughs> Let's go to it. To our annual Roman Reed uh, kickoff breakfast. This is our fourth one this year. Mary Lou Bicknell is a reading specialist here at Thomas E. Bow Elementary School. And while she's aware of the fact that New Jersey reading scores are among the best in the nation, she's also keenly aware that boys are usually more interested in sports than they are reading. So she came up with the Real Men Read program. My boys are now looking at the men that are reading and say, okay, our gym teacher doesn't just teach gym, he does read a magazine. The program invites men from the community to get together with the fourth through sixth grade boys at a breakfast where they can discuss reading. Mary Lou also displays posters of each guest to raise awareness about them and what they like to read. This kind of books I like. What kind of book do you like? I asked them what is it they wanted to be, and the vast majority are NFL. You know, they're all going to be sports people, and I just stress that you know, in order for that to happen, for that re to become a reality, you're going to have to go to college, and that's why it's important that they read and get a good education, because that's going to be the gateway for them to pursue that next level. How old one, 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 the earliest I can remember reading my first book, I was four. And I was overly excited to be here because literacy is something that I'm very passionate about and doing works in other realms with, so it just made sense to definitely be a part of a program, especially in the district, uh, as this is my home district, uh, being an alum of Glassboro Public Schools, so I felt the need to be here to give back. Before I came to both school, I didn't really, like, I wasn't interested in reading, then I was in the Real Men Read program, then it got, then it was, get, it was getting more interested. It got me into reading more, it made me read more. Real men do read, very definitely. I have a, a real strong interest in reading. I think it's, you know, uh, children should learn that at an early age. I, my, my own home is filled with books. Reading will help you in life and make you better at things. So that kind of inspired me to read more. This program to me has started as something that was so small and has snowballed into something that's huge. Boys who were reluctant readers, did not want to read, didn't want to pick a book up, are now picking up books. Boys who would maybe get a 20 on a test and say, forget it, I'm not going to read ever again, are now passing with, you know, a 70. I have seen some improvement, which is good. We have a long way to go still, but there is light at the end of the tunnel, which is great. <laughs> oh, I'm impressed. Thank you. You started this program. Yes, I did. How? Oh, gosh, about four years ago, I went to a workshop through the grace of my principal, said go ahead and go, and it was about bringing boys and books together. and. If you've ever seen the posters in the libraries, it has a picture of LL Cool J, Orlando Bloom. They're standing there, it says read. They're holding a book in front of them. Our boys will never meet LL Cool J. They'll never meet Orlando Bloom, but they will meet my principal, the mayor, the chief of police. There's a great picture we have of a man on a Harley Davidson, Mr. Bryan. Mr. Bryan is our maintenance man. He takes care of our air conditioning and our heat, gets the balls off the roof. 
they love that picture of him on a Harley Davidson sitting with a Harley Davidson magazine and his goggles across <laughs> his face. So he, they love it. Our gym teacher, uh, Rich Bertelli, they when they saw his picture, they just went, our gym teacher reads? Like they just to see the gym teacher as in the gym with a whistle, football, basketball. Did the, did the men who were involved, were they easy to get? Absolutely. To jump in? No one has ever said no to me. Really? And I have, I have about 67 pictures. I have some parents, um, some soldiers. I always make sure that when I have my kickoff breakfast, I always invite a soldier so it's always centered somewhere around uh, Veterans Day. Um, we have some parents that are on um, reserve in the Army. Um, Marines, I have sure. some Marines that come. Uh, one of our teachers, her father is a retired Marine, so he comes in his dress blues and looks so nice. And the children get to see the men, that they might run in town, they might run them into the local grocery store, at Borough Hall, at the fire department, the police department, while their parents are paying their bills or taxes or water bill. You've seen some of these, uh, these boys. You've seen them grow tremendously. You've seen them achieve things that they really may not have otherwise achieved if they hadn't gotten into reading and they got into reading to a large extent because of this program. What does that feel like? It's a wonderful feeling because they do come and say thank you. Um, there's a variety of different uh, venues for them. Um, just to give you an example, a couple of parents will come in and um, as well as some of the pe teachers. One of the people that we have come in is one of our Board of Education members. Um, <laughs> a great Board um, of Education great, member. Yes, he is. I he know. comes He'll in, he get reads, really upset when I can't read. Don't worry about it. Yes, I know. He knows um, who he is. But he comes in and he always gives all his exper life experience. He works for Lockheed Martin right. and Dan Marino. I knew you were going to yes, get I that. Yes, <laughs> anyway, he um, comes in, Anthony, sorry, not Dan. Dan Marino is a football Dan player. Dan Marino is a football player. <laughs> Anthony <laughs> Marino, yes, Anthony Marino. I was going to say, Anthony. wow, she gets Dan Marino <laughs> no, to Dan come Marino in. Go. Good. I have had some uh, Because you want Dan, Marino, want Dan Marino to come Marino in, that's why. That's it. But, um, but what's he his has, first name again? Anthony. Anthony. Anthony okay. Marino, um, big supporter, one of our Board of Education members, went to Japan, and in the springtime when we had our um, culmination end of the year party, he came, brought all these different artifacts from Japan. Boys will now wanted to research Japan. They Love wanted it. to research Lockheed Martin. They wanted to know what he did for a living. They became curious. Absolutely. Are, are and the, that's are the grades better? Yes. They have gone up at least one grade level in reading, wow. which is good. And we have a long way to go. Just like I said, we have a long way to go. And that's why I want to stay in the You know, teaching. it's so interesting to me. This particular episode, by the way, I want to tell our audience, this particular episode of Classroom Close-Up, which you can actually see at NJTV, go on the website and find out, was nominated for? An Emmy. How great is that? I know, that was just like so awesome. But you have to understand too, this program doesn't run unless everybody's on board. So from my principal, Kristen Matthews, to my vice principal, Ron Ferraro, and I'm gonna try to get everybody's name in. Look at you, our it's like, teachers, I wanna thank the academy. Our, <laughs> even, our, even our custodial staff too. I have pictures of our custodial staff. So any man that the boys are into, All right, one everyone, to 10. How much do you love your job? I love my job. 10 plus. 10 plus. Plus. I got to tell you something. You're changing kids' lives and you started this program. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nice meeting you. You're terrific. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association working for great public schools for every child, and by Wells Fargo. Promotional support provided by NJ Biz, all business, all New Jersey, and by the New Jersey Business and Industry Association and its monthly magazine, New Jersey Business. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. One on One with Steve Adubato has been produced in partnership with St. Joseph's Healthcare System.